Hey there all, we are getting closer and closer to the perfect head swap. We have our face swap and stuff, but we've been wanting to be able to put a full head and hair and everything, and we're getting so closer with Quinn 3 Edit. Just absolutely incredible what you can do with very small prompting. Here, obviously, I'm putting this handsome devil on some of his superheroes here, but who is this superwoman here? She looks familiar. Hey, oh, who's this superwoman here? And this was just very simple prompting that um, that I did. And we're going to go and show you some more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Some more advanced prompting methods to get even more of this because Quinn uh, 3 Edit 2511 it very well could be the greatest editing model we have had to date. All right, so welcome to Get Going Fast here where we're getting into this AI hobby quickly and efficiently, hopefully, and you're going to learn something. So uh, again, We've been looking at this uh, Quinn 3 Edit 2511, and guys, the consistency is so good. Uh, the image you start with stays. Someone asked me just the other day, they said, hey, what's the best consistent uh, model you have? And at the time, I was like, ah, I don't know. You know, I work with so much stuff, and um, I work with this. Guys, this is the best there is. I, I honestly can't say that there is a um, a better model out there right now. You throw in an image and you throw in a second image um, and you blend them together. This model, for those of you who care, is so um, NSFW friendly that it'll blow your mind. So um, it it really can do whatever you want with this. Now, I know most of you guys do an SFW and that's good. You're good people and mama proud of you. Now, um, the two don't have to blend into each other. You can do one without having to worry about the other. The point is that this model is incredible. If a person's head is sideways, if a person's looking up, it's going to replace it. It's, it's, it's that good. But enough of my words. Let's jump into this and show you how to use this. This is not going to be our install video. This is going to be our, um, our face swap video. Uh, and more accurately, our head swap video. We are getting to a place where we're going to be able to completely swap people. And this model here, this Quinn 3 edit 2511 is pushing us so incredibly close to that. So let's jump into it right now. Okay, so to move forward as usual we need to have our comfy ui installed as i've said multiple times if you don't have comfy ui installed i don't know why you're bothering you got to go get it um installed almost the vast majority of stuff you're going to have to have it so just go to comfy.getgoingfast.pro whoa 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 and here is a free version that i have of you this is a manual version listen uh, some of the people download these, the portable version, eh, you know, eh, whatever. Okay, it's fast. This is just as fast and it's better, okay? Um, the portable version is going to leave you in the dust when you want to update stuff. So just go here, grab either of these. The loaded just means that I preloaded some stuff for you so you don't have to worry about it. You know that you can load stuff without it breaking. Um, but get one of those and install it. you got to have that or else uh, none of this is going to work, Okay. Then what we're going to have to do is we're going to need to get our models. So this is not the install video. This is not the install video. So um, you're going to have to either wait for the install video, install it yourself, or you can head over here to um, getgoingfast.pro. Whoa, whoa. And if you click the tools, you can just type in 2511 and you'll find it here. Okay. First of all, we're going to download this workflow, okay? Um, you can get this workflow by going over to cognibuild.ai, okay? And just click on the blog, and you're going to find it down here, Quinn 3, edit 
251. I'll post it there for you so that you can find it. All right. Um, or if, again, if you go and you download it from getgoingfast.pro, you'll just get the workflow. And the, uh, the workflow I've got here as well, by the way, is a little bit updated. So we're going to be using one that's a little bit updated. I actually added another Laura to it um, that can be used for both safe for work and not for safe work stuff, um, but it actually makes images better. So um, you can use it either way and it will make your images better. That comes with the Get Going Fast Pro workflow. I don't know why I like doing that. I just like going pro when I say it. All right, any rate, um, this is what our workflow is going to look like. Now, again, if you get the one that's um, different, this is going to be spread out. It's kind of, it's like spread way out to here. I moved all of this into here. Okay, so that's another benefit of getting it from getgoingfast.pro, but you'll just, you'll have to um, stretch out a bit. Now, we're not going to worry about too much stuff up here because this is, um, where all of our models go. And once you get the models installed, you're fine. And like I said, this isn't the install video anyways. Okay. But let's get over to the head swapping. Now, as I pointed out, this this model can do a few different things, okay? And I'm not going to go into all of this, but like you could throw in a single image and you can just change it, okay? Like we threw in some Swifty here and said, just make her a clown leading over a rail. And it did it. I mean, it's incredible. 20 seconds, okay? I threw in two images of this. This is a generated person. This is this is Fidel Kuhn. All right, we put his image in there. And um, and I created this off of that. Now, we're not going to really go into that. This is pretty self-explanatory. We'll do that in the other video. What we're interested in is the fact that we can actually do a full head swap. Because this is kind of the holy grail of um of stuff okay now when we do face swap where we use things like rope and that sort of thing it does a similar thing it puts the face on there but it doesn't change the hair like so notice this like it put the hat on it put oh there's my beautiful orange hair okay it put all of that there but a normal face swap will not change the hair um it'll match the face nothing else this is fully doing the head swap. And that's what we want to focus in on because that's awesome. Now, I do want to point out one thing though. When you do the full head swap, you're not going to get the range of emotion, at least not yet. Okay. So this model here is starting us off. It, it, it's the best there is. In my opinion, this is the best edit model there is. It is the cleanest full head swap that we have. But, but with face swap, if the, if the original person is doing something like this or, you know, or whatever, you know, it's going to face swap each one of those things. And it's going to keep the range of the mouth and the eyes. And it's actually going to keep the emotion. This is not going to keep the emotion. Whatever image you throw in there, it's going to be the same. Notice it's going to be the same cheesy butt smile on all of these. Oops, where did it go? Okay, same smile, same smile, same smile. But do notice like over here, it actually did change the uh, the angle. So still incredible, okay? Um, so it wouldn't be great for video just yet because the video would just be a non-changing face, but still just incredible. Okay. Um, worth my time for sure. I think this is, I think it's Trey Bone. Okay. Any rate, there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. So you're going to notice we've got all of our models. If we scroll out, you're going to see we've got these three blocks here. This is image one, image two, image three. Now, when we scroll up to here, you're going to see it says choose how many images. And we can enable image one. Look, if we press that, it bypasses all that. We can choose image one. We can add image two, and it'll undo that. We can do number three. Okay. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on two images. Now, when we do one image, we could do something like this where we put two things in here. But what it's going to end up doing is it's going to um, blend these two into one. So you can say like them shaking hands or you can say like them, 
you know, playing basketball together or something. And it's going to do something like this. But um, by using two people, we're actually going to be able to blend them a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our choose file to upload. We're going to grab the original image here of Superman. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to say choose the file to upload. We'll grab this guy's handsome face. Now, when we go up here, and, and again, remember, we pressed enable image too. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to say something like head swap the two men. Okay. And uh, now you can put more in there. You could mention like Superman should be left. Um, say, but I'll put something like this the final image should be only. Superman. Oh, it should be only one man. Now, the reason I do that is because I want you to notice down here, sometimes you put them in there and it's going to put something like this where it puts two people together. Okay. It does down here, it did the same thing. And so you have to prompt it and let it know, I don't want two people. I want one person. But the incredible thing about this model is it's actually pretty good about figuring out what it is that you want. Okay. So it's a very intelligent model your words go a long way with this one. So we're going to go ahead and try this. Head swap the two men. Finally, we should be only one man. Now, let's throw this in here and see what we put here. By dragging this and dropping it in here, it'll bring up this other one. And here's what I wrote for that one. Head swap the men in these images. Okay, I said keep the emotions of the first image. That's not important. Match the lighting. The final image should have the Superman outfit. So there you go. That's, that's what worked there. See, a lot of this is just playing around with it to get the right thing. But let's wait a second here and see if the uh, see if this one worked. And there we have it. Popped out pretty much the same idea here. We got the uh, the mask. We got the two different images over here interacting with each other. And there it is. So this one took a, a while. You saw my video got a little bit glitchy there because I was running too much stuff at once. But that is the most simple um, face swap ever, right? Well, no, ever. But uh, it's certainly a comprehensive one. There it is, okay? And then it puts that head on there. Here is our, uh, here's our result. Now, again, as I mentioned... It's not going to catch the expressiveness. It's going to take the person from that image. But look at that's my hair, that's my hat, that's my beautiful face. Okay, uh, hey women, give me a call. And uh, that's uh, not my body. Okay, so uh, good stuff. Let's try one more here, and we'll uh, we'll give it a go. All right, let's take this picture of Tay Tay here. Okay, just because we know who that is and. And we'll take this whole picture of, uh, call this one mom. I think that's Donna Reed. But the, uh, we'll use this one because it's got a striking face. You can tell if it switches over. So let's do the same thing. All we have to do is put the one up here into the top. Okay, you can see back here. We'll put our image one, image two. Now, we could do an image three, but that's, we don't need that for our basic um, head swapping. So same thing. Let's go back over to our text. Here we're going to say Ed swap the women in these image match this image match the lightning and now we want to change this out the final image should have the superman outfit we'll just say the final image should be one woman wearing the red dress now we'll see how this works there's another trick i'll show you if this doesn't work but let's come going to pause this let's come back and give her a go all right and so we ran a few of these to show you what happens now check it out the first one we got here, it actually switched the whole body, which is still pretty cool. You got the same background, but that wasn't what we had asked. So then we tried prompting it again here, and what we got was just the hair. So the, the hair part of it. So in other words, prompting is really important. Um, up here, this, I think, this one we just put, replaced the heads of the two women. And, and it... Uh, it just did that. So that was obviously wasn't what, but this was the winner here. So prompting does matter. Head swap the women in these images. Take only the head and the face of the woman from the second image and put her head on the woman with the red dress. Okay, now, the I want to point out here, that by saying put on the woman with the red dress, this is what makes this 
this is what makes this model so strong is that it understands those prompts like the woman with the red dress. So it's going there, it's looking at the uh, images and going, oh, this is a red dress, this is a woman, those things go together, uh, highlight it, and then let's move it out. It's very powerful in understanding your words. So head swap the woman in these image, take only the head and the face of the woman from the second, put her on the one with the red dress, okay? The final image should be uh, wearing the red dress. So I aggressively prompted it to say, I, I, I don't want any of this kind of stuff where I don't want half and half clothes, okay, I only want the red dress, I only want one person, and I only want the head and the face, I don't, I don't want the clothes, so I kind of, this one for some reason was a little bit harder than the, the last ones over here, here, going back to this one here, this one was easy, uh, of course, I used the famous name there, um, but again, added the end should be one woman. But anyway, so here we go. Here's our final result. Head swap. That's a beautiful head swap. Like, as far as I'm concerned, you don't know that that's been head swapped. Okay? So that's, again, why this model, I think, is the best model. Look at uh, that there is yet so far. And I think this is going to lead us into the future of face swapping body swapping and and look at that too it got her face she's looking that way it put it in a different um at a different angle okay so it's it's really good going back to this one of of billy back here um this is this here this silly image here that's how the original image looked but it was able to take it and actually put it sideways as well there so just incredible stuff. This is the easiest. Uh, well, I don't know if it's the easiest. It's pretty darn easy. But this is definitely uh, the best head swap that you are going to get so far. Okay. Again, the video, if you try to do this in video, it'll be weird because it'll just be the same smile no matter what you do. Um, so this is excellent for still image head swapping. Okay. This is, uh, listen, I love rope, I love Visa Master. Um, if you want to do single image head swaps, this is better. So, all right. Well, you guys enjoy that. I um, hope you like the video. I'll be making at least a couple more videos here. I'll teach you how to install this thing, and we'll do more of a general workflow of what else you want to do. But I know my boys. I know my peeps. All right. We'll, everyone wants to face swap. Everyone wants to head a swap. And so I wanted to get this out there for you straight away. Okay. So easy. Go ahead get it going on come over to the discord share your safe for work stuff with us we would love to see it and in the meanwhile you guys uh enjoy the rest of your new years all right if uh you do want to like and subscribe to the channel that certainly would help i would certainly not call you bad names for doing that thank you so much in the meanwhile um we're gonna give you one of these hearty yo's and wish you the absolute best